Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows multiple fetal anomalies, including spina bifida, large fetal ear, polyhydromnias, and fetal limb reduction. The pregnancy is of about 20, 32 weeks. Now you can see the fetal spines and this is the spina bifida. Now, fetal ultrasound is the most accurate method to diagnose spina bifida in the baby before delivery. Ultrasound can be performed during the first trimester and second trimester. Spina bifida can accurately can be accurately diagnosed during the second trimester ultrasound scan. Open spina bifida is usually detected at the antenatal midterm ultrasound that is about 20 weeks of gestation. The appearance of skull bones and cerebellum part of the back of the brain show distinct signs that leads the sonographer to look for tiny changes in the spines. An ultrasound can reveal the signs of bi spina bifida such as protrusion of tissue from the spine or an opening between the vertebra. This test can also show a buildup of excess fluid in the brain, a condition called hydrocephalus and many other fetal anomalies. Now you can see the fetal head and the fetal brain ventricles are prominent. Polyadamnas is also seen in this case. If the initial Ultrasound shows evidence of polyadamnia. Sonologists will be requested to do a more detailed ultrasound. Measurements of amniotic fluid volume, AFV, by measuring the single largest deepest pocket of fluid around the baby. An AVF value of 8 cm or more suggests polyadamnia. Common causes of polyadamnias include gestational diabetes, fetal anomalies with disturbed fetal swallowing of amniotic fluid, fetal infections and other rare, rare causes. The diagnosis is obtained by ultrasound. Ultrasound diagnosis of poly, polyadamnias, you now you can see the fetal limb reduction arm and you can see clearly the arm is smaller in size. The ultrasound diagnosis of polyadromnias can be made and the vertical measurement of the deepest pocket of amniotic fluid free of fetal parts is used to class classify polyadromnias into mild that is 8 to 11 centimeter, moderate 12 to 15 centimeter and severe equal to or more than 16 centimeter. Now you can see the again the fetal limb and fetal ear is also very prominent as you can see larger in size. In about 80% of cases of polyadamnias is mild, in 15% moderate, and in 5% the severe. Most cases of polyadamnias are idiopathic, but some cases with moderate to severe polyadamnias are due to 
maternal or fetal disorders. In most cases, polyadenomas develops late in the second or in the third trimester of pregnancy. Acute polyadenomas at 16 to 22 weeks is mainly seen in associated with twin to twin transfusion syndrome. Now you can see the measurement of the single deepest pocket and it is in the at this point it is 10.3 you will see later on in this video another deepest pocket measures about 14 centimeter so it is moderate polyadenomas now the impact of polyadenomas on pregnancy most women will polyadenomas will deliver healthy babies with no problem if polyadenomas is severe it may make the uterus contract and you may also find difficult to get comfortable in chair or lying down with polyadenomas the risk of the following complications is increased preterm contraction and possibly preterm labor preterm rupture of membranes fetal malposition maternal respiratory compromise umbilical cord prolapse uterine atony abruptio placenti moderate to severe polyadenomas may cause the following symptoms that is difficulty in breathing then swelling in the lower extremities swelling in the lower extremities swelling of the vulva decreased urine production constipation heartburn feeling huge or tightness in the belly So the birth defects which are associated with the polyadenomas are persistent polyadenomas has been associated with fetal enoploidy and polyadenomas at birth has been associated with preterm delivery, unstable lie, malpresentation, cord, cord prolapse and placental abruption. Now this is the femur and the lower limbs are more smaller than the upper limbs. So in, in polyadenomas and AFI is normally 7 to 25 centimeter. Normally the AFI is 7 to 25 centimeter. In addition, each individual pocket of fluid should be 2 to 8 cm. Fluctuation outside this range defined oligoadenomas, that is too much little amniotic fluid, or polyadenomas, too much of the amniotic fluid. In case with multiple gestation, a range of 3 to 8 cm defined is normal. With this method, polyadenomas are classified as mild, moderate, and severe. Mild polyadenomas is characterized by a value of 8 to 11 cm. Moderate polyadenomas with a value between 12 and 15 cm. And severe polyadenomas by values above 16 cm. So, there are multiple fetal anomalies in this case, as you have seen, large ear, spina bifida, polyadenomas, and fetal limb reduction. Now you can see the placenta. Amniotic fluid is thick due to the passage of meconium, possibly. Now this single deepest pocket measures about 14 centimeter. 
Thanks for watching. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.